This video is in response to a YouTuber, WA Transport Observations, who would like to see a recollection of earlier buses I have interacted with. We commence with a trolley bus on Barrick Street, Perth. From the Legacy Lookout, we watch a half-cab bus valiantly climbing the Malcolm Street Hill to Kings Park Road. In these next two still photos, we have a half-cab bus approaching Barrick Street Yeti, and then the peak hour services getting ready for departure. We now feature Wellington Street Bus Station. Viewed first of all from the train station and then from a large building on the corner of William Street and St George's Terrace. From Wellington Street, we walk into the bus station, then we walk to the opposite end and look back over the platforms. The Arctic buses were introduced to replace the free metal trains. Here we see one loading on A Road on either Route 760 or the 766. We watch a yellow clipper departing and then briefly see the tail of the Layla National doing a red clipper turning into the platforms. We now look down on the Horseshoe Bridge. From the same vantage point, we then have a look at the bus lane that runs at the back of the old entertainment centre, alongside of the rubber line. From the Horseshoe Bridge, we can see in the distance buses going in and out of Wellington Street bus station along the bus lane. At the end of the bus lane, buses can be seen exiting the busway across the railway tracks at the west end. They are doing this in front of a Fremantle bound train which has not yet triggered the railway crossing lights. Through a thick cloud of diesel smoke, enthusiastically being laid down by an ADG diesel rail car, a bus can be seen gasping its way into the Wellington Street bus station. A later bus finds the going much easier. The next advent of the bus lane included a redesigned entrance and exit onto Row Street. Buses having to do a U-turn over railway tracks. For safety, two mirrors were installed, one of them heated to give bus drivers a clear view of approaching trains, as we see in this clip from 2007. In 1979, the free metal train line was withdrawn to be replaced by articulated buses. These buses were complete with a special yellow and black logo depicting the link between the port and Perth City.
And finally, we see a bus at Victoria Street on Stirling Highway before very briefly seeing Fremantle Station with the forecourt being a car park. For a while, bus 367 was painted to look like a giant police car. In darkening skies, it gave the unwary quite a fright. And finally, a tiger who wants his lunch opening up a large steel can. This was just a short glimpse into some of the buses operating in Perth, Western Australia.